Uh, hello again. Uh, last in my last video, I said I was going to talk about high command a little, and I sort of forgot. So I'm going to do that now. Uh, high command is really similar to squad orders, but they're a little different and not that involving. Uh, but it's a nice feature to have. Strata. As you can see, all the Halsey uh, high, uh, high Command units have the icon over each unit and you can both control them on the map and we are selecting. Uh, similar to the modes in, uh, in Squad Command, you have Attack Mode which is uh, offensive mode and uh, defense mode which is basically for uh, slower infantry and stuff the only difference is that uh, defense modes put them into line formation and uh, now all uh, both modes put them into line formation sorry uh, but defense mode uh, puts them at normal speed for infantry instead of full speed Unlike, unlike uh, squad command, you cannot say the orders are alone here. You have to use a direct command or go into uh, a menu. Like you can, <coughs> you can select the unit and then go into a menu. For example, waypoint menu, target menu. Uh, fire menu, etc. I mean, uh, uh, fire menu, speed menu, etc. This is because uh, to minimize the f uh, risk of uh, it conflicting with uh, normal squad command, which you you will most likely use more often. Um, if you use a direct command, you can say unit one next waypoint, unit two cancel as waypoint, etc. There are no teams in uh, in high command. As you can see, the they have symbols uh, in their icons, and they basically mean different stuff. Uh, if you look down here, you will see most of the different symbols. Uh, the the dots on the top and stuff. Uh, tells what what size the unit is basically the more stuff you see on top the bigger the unit is and uh, you don't they don't have to be individual like you can have for example two tanks being one unit or 15 tanks if you want to um, and this will basically show on the dots and lines and stuff up here um, the X means infantry the X with the extra line in is mechanized infantry. The square are armor, like tanks and stuff. And um, the flipped time glass is aircraft. Anything else? No, I don't think so. Okay, since I only have uh, I have two infantry units here and the rest are armor, I would like everyone into attack mode and the two units into. Uh, uh, defense mode, but because I don't can't use commands directly, I can try to manipulate the profile, which I'm going to show here now. All units, unit one, unit two, unit three, unit three attack mode. Unit one, unit two attack. Uh, oh. One. Unit two defense mode. Okay, what I basically did here is that I used a direct command for one unit, which was unit three for attack mode, and I, I deselected those I didn't need in the attack mode, and I deselected three and had the rest of them selected. So when I did the command on on unit three, it selected three. But because all the others were also selected, 
every, all of them are put in attack mode. So now all of them are in the correct mode. So let's get them rolling. As you can see, it's that simple to get them moving. And away they go. Now you can use the voice commands as well. Unit 3, 